Hey everyone, today we're going to show you how to use the count if function, which is very helpful if you're trying to count data in a range rather than sum it. First example on the left here, let's say you're wanting to understand how many of one size you have in a list. So we have a very small sample size here, which would be very easy to count manually, but just to kind of as an example, we're going to do equals count if, hit tab there. And then it will give us a couple of things that it's looking for. So range would be, what is the data range that you want to count a specific criteria from? So in our example, we have our list of sizes here. So we're gonna go ahead and just select that. And what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna go ahead and make it an absolute value. So we're gonna hit F4, which will make sure that this is logged because we're gonna to wanna to count the different sizes there. And then we can do comma, and now it's gonna ask us for the criteria. What criteria are we looking for? What is it that we want to count within that range of data? So the first thing we wanna count is the size XL. So the first thing we can do is we can either enter quotation marks, type XL, and then quotation marks again. And that will give us a count of how many extra large T-shirts we have in this list here. So it gives us two. You can do it again with the quotation marks and manually enter it. It's very important to add the quotation marks here. It won't work. Or what we're going to do here is we're just going to delete that. And where it's again looking for criteria, we're just going to go ahead and, and enter the size there. Click on the size. And then it's going to give us that same two number. But this way, because we did an absolute value, which is referencing the same range there, we can just click and drag and it will autofill. So we can even spot check three larges, we had four mediums and, and one small, so seems to work great. Again, with this such a small data set, you might not think that it's it's super helpful, but uh, here we have a list of 100 names and, and different groups that they are uh, associated with. And so what we want to do, because this is would make it a lot easier again, is we're going to go ahead and do the same thing here. And it's going to give us the number of people in each individual group. So we'll do count if, hit tab. And then we're going to select the range. So I'm going to hit control shift down arrow. And then just remember to hit F4 there. It's going to give us the absolute value. So it's going to lock it. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to click and drag. And then we'll hit a comma. And then we're going to select our criteria. Again, that's that's what you're wanting to count. Like it's not going to sum the ones. It's just or the twos or the threes. It's just going to count each individual instance. So then we'll, do, we'll go ahead and do close parentheses there. And so it gives us 10. We know that there's 10 people in group one. And we're going to click and drag. And then we can see easily count how many people are in each different group. So if we, you know, if, if we are doing this exercise, we need to redistribute numbers. This would be an easy way to, to do that. So 